Welcome to Transport Vlog. My name is Paul and lots has changed at Central Station since my last update in November last year. So I'm going to start with the Charmer Street entrance, then cover Central Walk, then the Metro Concourse, and then finish up with the new reinstated platforms. The new Charmer Street station entrance is very close to the Central Charmer Street light rail stop, and when it opens, it will provide a very convenient interchange with Sydney light rail. And this is how it looked on the 10th of November 2022, with these supports for the future canopy now in place. By the 1st of January 2023, the metal structures for the glass panels have been added, and the glass panels themselves were starting to appear. And you can see the lift shaft frame for the two lifts. By the 10th of January, further glass panels had appeared, and work continued to add the remaining ones. And just five days later on the 15th of January, and all the glass panels were now in place. And you can see the familiar white ceiling panels and black strips appearing on the left side, above where the escalators will be. By the 7th of February, most of the canopy had been added. This is now on the 19th of March, and you can see more of the white ceiling panels, especially around the lift shaft. Here is a closer view of the canopy, and now the lift shaft, complete with the glass sides. On the right will be stairs leading up to the Randall Lane entrance, which is where I'm heading to now. For several months, all that was visible was scaffolding and blue covers. But by the 19th of March, the scaffolding had gone to reveal something far more recognisable. The entrance will be within this arch, and as Randall Lane is higher than Chalmers Street, access to the lift and escalators will be via the stairs that I mentioned earlier. I love the brick finish, and I guess it's to blend in nicely with the brick building opposite and some of the other buildings on Randall Lane as well. And it looks like there will be something small on top. Now from the other side, and these glass panels, along with the ones on Chalmers Street, will allow natural light to filter down to the escalators below. So the new Charmer Street entrance will lead to Central Walk, and in purple is the existing Eastern Suburbs Concourse. So now coming down these stairs to the Eastern Suburbs Concourse. These stairs have been widened and a lift added to provide step-free access to Central Walk. And the east part of Central Walk is behind this silver foil. So these are the lower three escalators as they looked on the 16th of December 2022, and as you can see, they look pretty much finished. To get to the Chalmers Street entrance, passengers will go up these escalators to an intermediate level on the Randall Lane side, and then continue to Chalmers Street via the upper escalators, and you can see the base of these escalators here. By the 12th of February 2023, some of the lighting on the lower escalators appeared to be on. And here is another view of the base for the upper escalators. This is the lift shaft for the two lifts, as it looked on the 15th of January, and now on the 26th of March, with the lift doors in place. You can see some of the familiar white ceiling panels appearing, along with cladding on some of the vertical columns. The escalators and lifts are over on the right, and you can see glimpses of the sandstone coloured panels on the escalator wall. Close to the eastern suburbs line stairs and lift, some further work is happening over on the right. I think this work might be to build some additional toilets, including some accessible ones, but I'm not certain of that. And on the left side, the old suburban tunnel entrance is just behind these hoardings. My last Central Station update was when the south part of Central Walk opened on the 30th of November 2022, and this included nine new escalators to the southern sides of the suburban platforms. And recently, things have been changing quite rapidly, with all of Central Walk now open at the eastern end. This was filmed on the 19th of March, and I believe this happened about three to five days earlier. The vertical columns that were previously hidden by hoardings are now very prominent, as is the Platform 22 and 23 lift. But most importantly, the two north escalators to Platforms 22 and 23 are now in service. The south side only has a single escalator, due to the narrower width of Platforms 22 and 23, so you could get down to Central Walk, but you couldn't use Central Walk to access these platforms. So the opening of these two escalators on the north side resolves this issue, and this means that you can now use Central Walk to access all of the suburban platforms, and this is especially handy if you want to get to the airport. Now coming back down, and you can see the lighting strips coming from under the escalator belt, and to the left and right of the steps. The sandstone coloured panels on the escalator walls are made of glass reinforced concrete, and you'll see this material used throughout Central Walk. And as you can see, the central walk lift for platforms 22 and 23 is now in service. This is the first of the four central walk lifts to open to passengers. On central walk, the lift doors are on the north side. And it's time to check it out. 
The glass lift shafts allow natural light to filter down from the platforms and enhance passenger safety and security. As you would expect, the lift buttons are at a comfortable height for wheelchair passengers. So as I mentioned earlier, the lift doors are on the north side of Central Walk, but at platform level they are on the opposite side, so facing south. And these frosted glass panels on either side of the lift bring further natural light into Central Walk. Now coming back down. And from the west side of the lift you can view the platforms. And then glimpses of the parts of Central Walk that have not yet opened. So it's only the new Platform 22 and 23 lift and north escalators that have recently opened. The remaining escalators, lifts and the rest of Central Walk are still being finished and are hiding behind this silver fencing. And you can see that it's getting very close to opening. The new lifts are over on the left and the entrances to the north escalators are on the right. The Platform 20 and 21 north escalators are moving. That's a very positive sign. And the north escalators for platforms 18 and 19 are also having a moving experience. I've been following the progress of these escalators for a few months now, like a devoted fan. And this included the excavation phase back in May 2022. And the start of installation in October 2022. And when I checked in again on the 12th of February 2023, it didn't look much different. So work to finish these escalators progressed very rapidly after that. And the Platform 16 and 17 North Escalators were also in motion. I remember seeing some of the South Escalators on test about one month before Central Walk opened. So on that basis, I reckon the rest of Central Walk, including the remaining lifts and North Escalators, will open during April. The other three Central Walk lifts now look finished and have blue fencing covering the lift entrances, which are all on the South side. And with no fencing on the North side, you can peer in and take a look at the lift gubbins. I haven't seen any of these lifts on test as yet, but that's probably because you need humans to press the lift buttons, as opposed to the escalators that can run unattended. Platform levelling and resurfacing work continues on the north side, between the new north escalators and the existing north stairs. The sections with the blue tactile surface are still to be completed. The western side of Central Walk leads directly to the Metro Concourse, which has lifts and escalators up to the new platforms 12 to 14, and lifts and very, very long escalators down to the Metro platforms. And since Central Walk opened, there has been a temporary passageway with lovely blue carpet linking Central Walk with the new Northern Concourse. And in December 2022, this temporary passageway was extended south to connect with the existing Southern Tunnel. So when coming from the Northern Concourse, you can either go around to the left to access Central Walk or continue straight ahead. So this provides a quicker way to access platforms 4 to 11 from Central Walk. At the end of this temporary passageway is a sharp right and then a short set of stairs that lead to the existing Southern Tunnel. And lots of new cabling is appearing within the ceiling and perhaps this tunnel will get a little more of a makeover. Now looking back towards the Metro Concourse and the sides of the stairs have the familiar glass reinforced concrete walls. Behind this temporary passageway lots of work is taking place to finish the Metro Concourse and you can see quite a lot of this if you know where to look. I'll start by covering the lifts and escalators that go up to platforms 12 to 14 and my first viewing point is the west end of Central Walk. The Metro Concourse starts where this Central Walk ceiling finishes. Notice that the Metro Concourse ceiling is higher. These are the Platform 12 and 13 North Escalators, and if you look closely, you'll see that they are moving. And behind this column is the lift for Platform 14. Here is a better view of the Platform 14 lift, and you can also see glimpses of the Platform 12 and 13 lift in the background. The Platform 14 lift was on test, and it was quite exciting to see it in action. Now taking a look into the Metro Concourse from the new Northern Concourse. So we have a solitary white ceiling panel waiting to go in, and then the stairs down to the Metro Concourse and the sandstone coloured wall behind it. And it mirrors the western side that opened in November last year. So when the Metro Concourse opens completely, you'll have the stairs on the right that opened last November, then two lifts and then the new stairs on the left. 
Here is a view of the ceiling, which has similarities with the canopies for the new platforms 12 to 14. And you get another view of the platform 14 lift from here too, and glimpses of the platform 14 south escalators, which are now finished and on test. However, the platform 14 escalators and lifts won't come into use for a while, and I'll explain why a little later, so keep watching. These were the same escalators in October 2022, before the handrails went in. And then in January 2023, when the rubber rails were being installed. And by February, the lights were on and it was rearing to go. My next viewpoint is from a tiny gap in the temporary passageway hoardings close to Central Walk. This gives you another view of the distinctive canopy-like ceiling, with the familiar white panels and black strips. And at the back are the stairs leading up to the northern concourse. And from here, you can also see the platform 14 north escalators. And here are the top of these escalators. They were completed in October 2022 and have the lights on and are ready to go. And finally, a quick glimpse of the platform 12 and 13 south escalators. This was back in November 2022 and it looks like they were already finished. So now you know how to access the Metro Concourse and where the lifts and escalators to platforms 12 to 14 are. So now I'll show you some of the escalators and lifts to the Metro platforms, starting from my earlier vantage point on Central Walk. So in this area here is one of the three sets of escalators that go down to the Metro Concourse. And you can get a glimpse of the top of one of the escalators just here. So that was the first set of three escalators, and these are the closest to the Northern Concourse and the Eddy Avenue entrance. The next set of escalators will be the closest for passengers coming from Central Walk, and they are also near to the South Escalators from Platforms 12 to 14. So these are the Platform 14 South Escalators again, and just here, you can see something that is moving, and yep, that's one of the middle set of escalators for the Metro Platforms. That was on the 16th of February 2023 in the evening, after it had gone dark. And I reckon I wouldn't have noticed those moving escalators in the daytime. That's the best that I can show you, but you can see more of the escalators and the Metro platforms in this 7 News video. So when the Sydney Metro platforms open, passengers will go down these escalators which are 45 metres long, to reach the Metro platforms which are 27 metres below the ground. These two lifts at the Northern Concourse will provide step-free access to the Metro Concourse for passengers not wanting to use the stairs on either side. They already provide step-free access to platforms 1 to 12 above, and suit to platforms 13 and 14 as well. For many months, only the lift on the right was available, but recently the lift on the left has come into use, and from this lift you can get some great views of the Metro Concourse. So now inside, and the most exciting thing you can see are the two lifts that will go down to the Metro platforms below. These are before the first set of escalators which are behind these lifts. So I was here, and these are the two metro lifts, and then the escalators. In this clip, you can see the illuminated handrail for the Platform 14 North Escalator that I showed you earlier. And this is the top of the temporary passageway. And on the floor, a circle of words. I think this might ultimately read as be aware of each other, with the word other being underneath the blue carpet in the temporary passageway. And of course, don't forget to breathe. The previous clips were on the 19th of March, and by the 29th of March, a new temporary passageway was being built that will run along the west side of the Metro Concourse. And it looks like the new temporary passageway will include the space in front of the Northern Concourse lifts, so that they can now serve the Metro Concourse level. So the existing temporary passageway will be replaced with this new one, that will hopefully allow step-free access as well. This new passageway will come into use at the same time as the opening of the remainder of Central Walk, which as I mentioned earlier is likely to be during April 2023. I'm not sure what will happen to the temporary passageway to the Southern Tunnel. It may be connected to the new passageway or become unavailable for a few weeks. On the Northern Concourse, the phrase, all alongside of each other, appeared in December 2022. It's by artist Rose Nolan, who loves to use language to transform architectural spaces. She believes that by making language concrete, its meaning is assured. And I wonder if she might have something to do with the phrases on the Metro Concourse floor as well. Between the Metro Concourse stairs and the Northern Concourse escalators is this clock. It used to be frozen in time, but now it's going like clockwork, and is in perfect time with its big brother. So I'm now going to cover the new Platforms 13 and 14 and the rebuilt Platform 12, but before I do, here is a quick history lesson. Platforms 13 to 15 were demolished to allow the Metro Concourse and platforms to be built, and since then, two of the three platforms have been reinstated, and these are numbered 13 and 14. Tunnel ventilation buildings now occupy the space where the Platform 15 track used to be. 
and miraculously, Platform 12, which is half of an island platform, remained open whilst being rebuilt. So these are the new platforms with their futuristic space age canopies, which now look finished. I'll cover Platform 14 first, and you can view this from Platform 16, but the views are much better from a train. Now going past the tunnel ventilation and services buildings on the south side of the station. And here is Platform 14, and a fence has gone in to provide a physical barrier between this platform and trains using Platform 16. The black posts are for platform lighting, and notice how the services building uses some of the Platform 14 space at this end. And the terrazzo tiles have recently been added as well. And here are the south escalators again. And the visible parts of this platform have the tiles, grey tactiles and the all-important yellow line. Now the lift, and below these boards are frosted glass panels similar to the ones used around the central walk lifts. And their purpose is the same, to bring natural light down into the metro concourse below. Notice the classic central sign that has been reused and inside these glass screens on the platform will be seating. There is a little more tiling still to do around these covered frosted glass panels. And now the north escalators again. And then the tunnel ventilation building for the north side. Now looking from the northern concourse lifts with platform 14 on the left side, and here is another view of this platform's north escalators. And I mentioned earlier that the Platform 14 lifts and escalators won't be in service for a little while yet, and that's because something very important is missing. And that's the track and overhead catenary for both Platforms 14 and 13. You can see glimpses of the ballast below this grey sheet, and the overhead wire gantries have been in place for several months now. And on the right are special seats for the prime buffer stop view. You can now walk along the rebuilt Platforms 12 and 13, and although Platform 13 doesn't have a track yet, there's still quite a lot to show you. So as I mentioned earlier, Platform 12 somehow remained in use while it was rebuilt. However, it was very narrow and became congested at peak times, so opening up Platform 13 has created a lot more space. The Platform Canopy covers the new Platform 13 and replaces the old Platform 12 Canopy. And as I pointed out earlier, it's interesting how they have designed the Metro Concourse to have a canopy-like roof that looks similar. And although there is no track, there are next train displays, along with information boards and bins as well. And behind this white hoarding are the Platform 12 and 13 South Escalators. These were the ones that were moving earlier. And although there is no juice for the Platform 13 trains as yet, there is for your phone. And a drinks machine too. Notice the frosted glass panels between the South Escalators, the Lift, and the North Escalators. As you probably guessed, these will bring natural light into the metro concourse below. And it's doing a pretty good job already, even through the gaps in the temporary passageway ceiling. And under these boards on Platform 14 are the exact same frosted glass panels, which are also between the north and south escalators. Skylights in the canopy bring in further natural light to both the platforms and possibly to the metro concourse as well. And interestingly, two of the overhead wire gantries are attached to the canopy. On the canopy roof are 236 solar panels, and it's wonderful to see renewable energy sources being used. Here are the completed seats with the glass screens, and that will be how the ones on Platform 14 will look when they're finished. And the original central sign is also reused on this platform. Now continuing towards the Platform 12 and 13 lift, which integrates really nicely into the canopy. And now the south escalators, which are also hidden behind the white hoardings. And here is the end of the canopy, which is long enough to cover six cars of an eight-car train. You might be wondering why Platform 13 has opened without the tracks in place. Well, here's why. That kind of makes sense now. Not related to the upgrade, but track work on the previous weekend resulted in no trains using the central terminating platforms, and this made for an unusual piece of slightly eerie footage. 
So that brings you bang up to date with all the work happening at Central Station and I think it's going to change again so expect another update during April. So if you enjoyed this video please give it a like, give it a thumbs up and do leave a comment or question below and subscribe if you haven't done so already and also consider joining me on Patreon. There's a link with further details in the description below. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye for now.